One of the problems that most traders have when they start in this world, and when they still cannot devote 100% to it, either because they have a normal job, because they want to spend more time with their family, with their children, is exactly not having enough time to spend hours and hours continuously to operate, and therefore end up not making much money or hours of study. So in today's video, we bring you a very simple strategy to use, while very effective, and that you can also apply quickly in various parts of the day. Welcome to the Trader's Game. And before we start, remember that in the description you have the links to join us in our Telegram community, where every day we post charts and analysis of what is happening in the financial markets. And also the trading bonus page, which has been updated and have added new promotions and free bonuses for all those who are starting in the world of trading. Do not forget to leave your email if you want to receive a weekly newsletter with everything that has happened during those days. As always, you can apply it to all types of assets, such as stocks, forex, or cryptocurrencies. In this case, we will use it in the 5 minutes time frame. The first indicator we have to place is the QQE mod. It will appear something like this, and we go directly to configuration, where we will leave the data entries as they are by default. However, in the style, we will remove these options, leaving only the QQE line and also the zero zone level. I personally also remove this here, so that it is visually cleaner, and I will place for example the QQE in yellow color, so that it stands out a little more. What we can already see directly is that, every time the QQE line crosses the zero zone, there are changes in the direction of the trends. Obviously being in 5 minute time frame, not all these signals are going to be correct, and that is why we will help ourselves with two more indicators. That second indicator is the trend magic, and if we click on it we will see something like this. Let's make a couple of changes quickly. The first is that as we are used to the positive line of longs is in green, I personally will change it to that green, and in the data entries very important that in the CCI period we change that 20 by a value of 50, and we add the ATR period to 6. This trend magic indicator will help us to filter directly several of these entries. But to complete 100% our strategy we will also place the SSL hybrid, a quite famous indicator that surely many of you already know. Even so we will not need all that data they provide us, so we will begin to remove all this, and we will leave only the MA baseline. We remove absolutely everything else, so that we only have this here, and in the data entries we change the baseline type to JMA and its value from 60 to 200. Now we have everything much clearer. The rules to enter an operation are very simple. The first, the most important, is that while we have that MA of the SSL hybrid in blue color, we will only look for longs, and if its color is red, we will look for shorts. The same would happen with the trend magic that accompanies our price. When it is in green, we will look for longs, and in red for shorts. And now we would seek to combine these two rules with the crosses that occur in the QQE. Even so, as a personal recommendation, I encourage you to place two horizontal lines, one with value at 20 and another with value at minus 20, and only take into account those reversals that occur after touching one of those levels, because everything that happens close to that zero zone are lateralizations, ranges, and consolidations that we will not be able to take advantage of and that we should not operate even if we wanted it would not give us entry the other rules that we have put but i explain it to you so that it is clear to you let's go for example with this area the first thing we see is that if the qqe goes above that level of 20 points so we wait for it to cross down that zero zone we can even mark that crossing with a vertical line to see it better and we can see just in this candle that we still have that trend magic in green but already in the next one the thing changes and turns red when the difference is only one candle you can take advantage of this operation and just when we have the three rules we place our stop loss above the previous highs and the take profit always in a 1.5 to 1 ratio as you can see after a few minutes we are already positive even so, if you are more novice traders or you are beginning to practice this strategy, I recommend that you only enter operations that meet the three rules to the letter, that you do not even take into account those that occur one or two candles later, simply because there is no need, since this strategy will be giving us entries for almost all day. A little later we see how again, after having touched a high part of those 20 of value in the QQE the price begins to fall, the indicator also, and almost touches that area of minus 20. 
At this moment, we see that it starts to bounce, and exactly the same thing happens both in the trend magic, which turns green, and in the SSL, which turns blue, and it also coincides with a big positive candle. At that moment, we know that we have a very good entry, in this case in long, we place that stop loss and the operation of ratio 1.5 to 1. Although here we have this spike, if we control a little more backwards perfectly, we can consider that the maximums of the range by the closing of the candles in 5 minutes would be this, and take an operation with a little bit safer, even so as you see the price continues to rise. And also here we exemplify perfectly what I told you at the beginning of the video, and that is that if for whatever reason we do not get or we are not available to take this first entry, we can see that a little later again we have the price touching those minus 20 in the QQE, and again we cross that zero zone and we have the price above the blue mean, the trend magic in green, we place our entry, stop loss below the previous lows, and again we would have left in positive just a few minutes later. A little further on, as you see here, there is still that trend magic in green, and we are also above that blue line, so we will only be looking to buy or long. And here we have it again, rejection in the minus 20 zone, crossing the zero zone, and we see that the trend magic is in green just at the close of this candle, we place the stop loss by the previous highs, coefficient 1.5 to 1, and again we take profits then it is important that you always keep in mind your basic analysis of the chart, i.e. we see that the price has started a large accelerated uptrend and then began to form a range. So yes, we can take advantage of these first operations, but we must be careful. Do not be greedy and always look for setups as clear as possible. Even so, as you see this crossing happens again, we have all the rules in our favor. We place the stop loss, the ratio 1.5 to 1, and unfortunately in this case we would have our first loss. That's why what I was telling you about also adding our basic analysis to avoid this type of losses that we would save only looking for. For example, those operations that come from a main trend change that marks us the average of the SSL and focusing on those movements of trend change and pullback and then catching the whole opposite movement. That can also be seen very clearly right here. We see that after consolidating the price in that range, we also have that change from the mean to red and then back to blue. What happens is that just when this change occurs, that apart from having a fairly clear divergence in the QQE, the price also comes from touching those areas of minus 20, with which in the next cut we again have a good opportunity for entry, average again in blue, trend magic in green, and cut to the upside, with which we place a new operation and return to collect our profits. As I said before, I would put it more in the area of the floor of the candlestick closes to ensure a little better that operation, but well as you see it works perfectly, and even without having much idea of the basic concepts and consolidation ranges, which made us lose this one here, of these five operations that we have in the approximate period of 24 hours, we took four in large profits, and only one loss with a very small stop loss. In only 24 hours, if we add and subtract our profits, we would have made 3.3% without leverage, truly insane for such a simple yet effective strategy. As always, let us know below in comments if you liked it, if you have tried it, and don't forget to also stop by the description where we will leave you our free Telegram community and the trading bonus website where all those who are looking for a new platform to trade, whether stocks, forex, or cryptocurrencies, you will have the best bonuses and offers to start with some free money, which doesn't come at all bad. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video of the Trader's Game.